Hey guys, Janice here. Today I'd like to talk about a few extremely common questions that come up in any bodybuilding based endeavor. It's what I call the dreaded big three. First on the list is why am I not gaining? Recently I've been fielding a lot of questions from guys all centered around halted gains and whether or not I knew how to break their plateaus. One of the very first questions I ask is how much are you eating? I can only count on one hand the number of times that under eating was not the main issue. Considering how common this question is, I've included links to several bodybuilding calculators in the description to this video. When I was younger and very first getting into bodybuilding, I figured I'd stand the best possible chance of succeeding if I learned the mistakes from others and closely examined the best of the best. We're talking big names like Lee Haney, Lee Priest, Mike Metzner, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Ronnie Coleman, Dexter Jackson, Paul DeLette, Marcus Rule, Jay Cutler, Dorian Yates, Kevin Lervone, Flex Lewis, Frank McGrath, Hitata Yamagishi, Sergio Oliva, Dennis Wolf, Flex Wheeler, Rich Piana, big name after big name. In every single case, the number one thing that set them aside from their competitors was their willingness to eat. Their willingness to make eating just as much a part of their training as time spent in the gym. All of these men were known to consume vast amounts of food to fuel their gains. In every single case, they preached again and again, eat more food. At the end of this video, I'll be including a playlist of some of my personal favorite videos for eating motivation. Another super common question I get asked is, am I training enough? Keep in mind, this is usually by the very same guys that are under eating a lot of times. And in most cases, I find guys are doing way, way too much, even for a well-fed individual. Whatever word or spin gets put on the topic, it's important to remember that at the base level, we're causing damage to our bodies whenever we exercise. The only difference between good old injuries and the stimulation we give our various bodily systems is that we're damaging our body in such a manner that is known to encourage the outcome we desire. In bodybuilding, we deliberately induce and encourage micro-tearing and structural breakdown of our tissues. No two ways about it but we do so in a manner that provides just enough stimulation to kickstart the process, but not so much that our body cannot compensate for the damage in a manner that nets us an increase in tissue mass. Basically guys, there's a very fine balance that gets struck between damage induction and our body's ability to heal itself. The next most common question I hear is, will you make a routine for me? My straight up honest answer to this question is that I just don't have enough time to sit down and make a personalized plan for every guy that asks, especially given the sheer number of requests I've received. However, I don't want to leave everyone in the dark either. Because of both the great need and the great interest that men have been showing regarding how to make gains faster, I've decided that starting next week I'll be launching what I call the Builder Series, where I'll be going in-depth into some of the more nuanced aspects of my research and explain how you can begin using my findings for the express purpose of developing a more solid and straightforward approach to gains. As we go along, I will also continue to push out regular releases of my Q&A series. My hope is to alternate the releases so that way I can address any specific questions men had about the previous Builder Series video. This way I can encourage everyone to really dig into the topics more and improve overall comprehension. I don't know about all of you, but I'm actually pretty excited. As far as I see it, your success is my success. Nothing encourages me more than seeing guys logging on to report gains. Hopefully this new video series can make a lot more of that happen. Come next Sunday, be ready to get into it. And as always, I'm your host, Janice, signing off.